This is teacher Jonathan. Welcome to Easy Alimu Learning Simplified. In grade four, science and technology on animals. We are still looking on characteristics of animals. And today we look at how animals respond to changes in the environment and afterwards they die. And from our previous lesson, we had looked and observed some changes that happens in animals. For example, we said animals move, animals they will feed, animals they remove or they produce waste products. Animals, we say also they give birth or they reproduce. And today we are looking on how animals respond to different changes in the environment. Now, in groups, I want each one of you look to one another and try to do something. Just touch the skin of your neighbor and tell me what does he or she respond. Jen, how does your neighbor respond when you touch his or her skin? And Jen is saying, you, the neighbor has responded by jumping because maybe he has, he has felt the touch or he didn't feel so much overwhelmed by the touch. And we say that is sensitivity because we learned that in our previous lessons that the skin has the sensitivity nerves. And we say different animals respond differently to different changes in the environment. For example, when it is too hot and to go to the sun, how do you how does it feel? You look for somewhere you can shower yourself. We say you are responding to the hotness of the weather. Or else when the weather is too cold, we say you go and look for somewhere you can warm yourself. We say you are responding to the environment and more so. And now, when animals grow hot, when they reach to a certain point now, they don't have the energy to go and look for food, something happens to them. And they want us to discuss in pairs what happens to these animals. Animals, when they grow hot, they don't have the energy to go look for the food they can feed on. And they stay there looking or waiting for somewhere they can get food from. What does it happen? Victor, the animal will definitely die because there's no way to feed on. And we should remember that anger has an effect to our body. Anger has an effect to our body. When you stay for a prolonged time without eating, what will happen? You will die. If you are sick and you don't take for medication, what happens to our body? The sickness overwhelms us and we die. So animals likewise respond to these behaviors. And how would like when you go home, take a look of the animals in the surrounding and do the following activities. Activity number one. Activities, number one, just observe. Observe how animals in your locality, in your local farm, respond to these changes, the environment. How they respond to the environment. When different changes occur. Just observe how these animals behave. Make sure you note down on their behavior. How does they, these animals behave? when they are responding to the changes on the environment where they are at. Then number two, kindly make sure you record the observation that you make. How does these animals respond to the changes in the environment? And I would like us to look at that picture that is showing animals responding to these behaviors 
on different occasions. And with that, may you have a good day. Bye-bye.